And in today's video, we're gonna build a lead magnet funnel in under 15 minutes, including all the automations. And if I don't do it in 15 minutes or less, I'm gonna get a pie in the face. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I have completely subjected myself to getting things thrown at me just to entertain you. So build along with us and let's see if I can do this. All right, so let's get going. So, because the clock is running out. So as we go over to the left-hand side, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my form. My form that I'm gonna create is, I'm just gonna create a simple opt-in form so I'm going to hit add form. I'm going to call this, this is going to be the go high level um, lead magnet. Internally, that's what it's going to be called. So, so then I can find it. And again, the goal of it is, is to get it up. We're going to go back in afterwards and make it a little bit pretty. But what we want to really honestly do is just get it functioning. And then as always, go back in and moderate as we kind of see fit. All right, so I got my form. Notice I have first name, last name, email. Uh, grab your checklist today. And since we're gonna using, uh, be using automated marketer um, backgrounds, I am gonna go nab our YouTube colors. Just so then I have them. Already wasting time, this is gonna be great. I am totally getting a pie in my face. All right, but I don't want to edit anything because I want to make sure that you guys can see that this one either can be done or I'm losing my mind, one or the other. But we're going to go find out, like I said. <laughs> so uh, I am just going to grab our colors real quick. All right, and I want to make this button grab your checklist today. I also don't, make, don't want to make it so it's not good uh, and it doesn't work out. Beautiful. We're going to make this long. So we're going to make that full width. Go high level magnet. Fantastic. And now we have the particular form set. The reason I start with forms is because that's what I'm going to need for the website or for the funnel. Next, I'm going to go to funnels. I am going to go down and I'm going to go to any, again, we're going to start from scratch. I'm not going to use a template library. This is going to be go high level checklist. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and add the new step. This is going to be uh, lead. Well, again, let's just keep the naming conventions the same. Go high level uh, lead magnet opt in because this is where people are going to be opting in. And we're going to just put checklist. Okay. Preferably spelling it right and create a new funnel step. Fantastic. We're going to create from blank. Now, considering I'm not a designer, this is pretty, um, Pretty intense. <laughs> so we're gonna go over here. The first thing I wanna do is add a column and I'm gonna add our little logo. Uh, hopefully I have a picture or else I am definitely gonna be in some trouble here. Um, and we are looking for our automated marketer logo somewhere in here. Oh Lord, help me. This is gonna be a little bit more challenging. I see Andy's face, but we don't see mine. This, this could be just finding the images alone might put me in the hole here. So now I know they have to exist here because if they didn't, oh. Ah, but I did find the address, so I'm just gonna post that. Fantastic, that is super huge. We are gonna change that over to 150. No, still too big. Oh my goodness. Let's change the width down to 150. Oh, too small. About 250. A uh, little bit more. So 350. Beautiful. And we're going to get rid of all the padding and stuff. Don't need it to the right. Don't need it to the top. Don't need any of this. Going to go also go do the same for... We just want something that's associating with us and our brand. And we're even going to go to this section. And eliminate all of that. Fantastic. Right from here. Our secondary section, actually, let's use a nice little, well, let's go hit save, go to sections up here, add a section, let's do another full width, uh, and we are going to go straight into the titling. Now, on the right-hand side, wrote a little chat GTP stuff for the headline, um, so we are going to just add a nice little headline, and again, we're going to keep it super simple, but I do like this headline. And we're going to come over here. Headline, slap that in, good. 
and let's make this a little bit bolder. Okay. Again, don't really like the spaces when we're building these things out. And I do think I do need a background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings, uh, actually the background color. Let's go see if we can do like a background image. Let's go to our pixel bay. Let's do um, computer or automations. Let's see if automations come up. Oh. Uh, these are all pretty good. I actually like this one. And we're just gonna use it for a background and we're gonna black it all out. So we're gonna come over here, kind of give it a darker blue haze. So come over here. Let's go in and, of course I got one, I had a custom one. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna see if we can get a nice little darker blue. Probably closer to this shade here. All right. So that sounds good. That color. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do background. This is going to be a heavy fade. That looks pretty decent, but we're just going to change the bold color to white. All right. Not bad. Not bad. It's almost there. Um, I still think that it, that fade needs to be a little bit darker. So you know what? We are going to do the background again. We did heavy phase. Let's actually go black. Yeah, and then a lighter fade. Beautiful. All right, now we have unlocked the secrets of a goal high level, yada, 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 this whole thing. Um, and then copy that. And the next time, next thing we're gonna do is add two rows. We're gonna take the mock-up um, that I downloaded so we're gonna add an image. And all I needed to do, like I don't have a mock-up yet because the guide is not created. So we're gonna do that at a later point in time. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go down and grab this real quick. All right, and then boom. It's gonna be like download our checklist. Over here, add a little subtopic. Boom. And it's going to be, again, let's make this white. All right, we'll make that also bold. And we'll separate that. We might need to change the background yet. I don't know yet. We'll play around with it. Uh, and then we in this side this free checklist, you'll find. Okay, come over here. And then right underneath this, we're also gonna do a bulleted list. All right, first bullet point. Okay, second bullet point. And again, I just wrote this in chat GTP folks. It's not gonna be anything crazy good in that sense. And third, boom, come in here. Okay, maybe the heavy fade's a little bit better. This thing is bothering me. Um, we're gonna have heavy fade. And then this is gonna be white. And this is gonna be also white. And then this is also gonna be, guess what, white. All right, and then we're gonna add our form. Remember the form we just created earlier on. Boom, come over here. It's gonna be go high level lead magnet. Fantastic, we're gonna add another section, full width, a nice little letter to the customer. So we're gonna make it a paragraph. It's gonna be, boom. All right, obviously it needs to be way bigger. This looks odd as all heck. 
you know what, we're going to make this section or this row, if I can find the row, we're going to make it a little bit smaller, all right? Boom, boom, boom. Over here. I'm going to the spaces. Make it bigger. Make that like a 22, like a 16. And then we're going to add another section, which is going to be just one paragraph for now, which will be um, animated marker 2023. Our privacy terms. Okay. And oh. and we can make that a little bit nicer yet. I don't know. We'll we'll come back and mess around with it. I don't know why the check marks are here. Let's see. I can color. There you go. And again, we can change the heavy fade. This can also be a different color. So let's just make this a darker black or something. So background color will be black, and then we'll change this to be white. All right, cool. Save, fantastic. Somebody will download that. And then what we're gonna do is come out of here and we are going to basically duplicate this funnel on this funnel step. And this is going to be our lead magnet. Thank you. And thank take checklist. Thank you. Hit update. Come in here. Hit edit. And we're going to eliminate all this. So we don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need that. And basically It'd be like, thank you, your lead magnet's on its way. I can always add a calendar later on. Okay. Or your checklist, <laughs> not lead magnet checklist is on its way. Holy smokes, I know I'm getting close to time. <laughs> this is terrifying. I really don't just don't want to get a pie in my face. It's going to be really annoying if I have to. So we're going to go scroll down. Now that this is done, I got to create the automations for it. Now, we don't have a lead magnet funnel, I don't think. So we are going to create a folder. This is going to be go high level lead magnet. I like to put everything in folders. It's incredibly organized. And I got to really start learning how to spell right. All right, I'm going to hit create and click on this create new workflow we're going to start from scratch it's going to be one or l1 for lead magnet um checklist okay come over here form submitted all forms form is select uh go high level lead magnet come in here tag Go high level. Okay, hit save, come over here. Then it's going to be an email that we're gonna send. Simple email, it's gonna be from name, is gonna be always the same here. Oh, I have a, an email ready to go here from our friend ChatGTP. Boom. Your ultimate checklist is here. And come over here, paste. The lead magnet, obviously, when we have it, we would fill that in. And at location, just in case they want to email us, which is the whole point. 
uh, it will be user, not user account, email. Okay. And anyway. save action. Publish, save. 14 minutes and 58 seconds. <laughs> And there you go. And there you go. Um, I am incredibly happy that um, I completed this entire uh, lead magnet and did not get it in. But definitely, that was definitely close to the wire there. Um, but hope you enjoyed this video. More importantly, uh, you saw how quickly you, you can do like a quick little lead magnet, uh, and then just use Chat CTP to kind of generate the content. There's a bunch of videos that we posted that have all this. Uh, but as you can see, it's pretty quick. That way, you can do this. Um, but this is just the lead magnet. We're going to try to do the sales page in the, sale, in the same way or like a service sales page uh, in one of our videos. Uh, but just again, pretty easy tool. Um, definitely have a lot of benefits in doing it this quickly. Uh, and again, there was no editing on this video. Uh, it really was down to the wire. <laughs> Uh, and again, because I have to like one spell check a few things because I'm a horrible speller and two, um, you know, I had to like search for images and so forth. You would probably have all that ready while you were doing it. Uh, but if you were kind of stalling and you, you still haven't gotten started, it, it is really this simple to do. Uh, and a lot of the videos that we have created for you will allow you to go back in and kind of view this. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry I disappointed you and didn't get, a, didn't get a pie in the face this time around, but we'll see you in the next video. Maybe next time I'll make it a little harder and challenging. Maybe I'll do it with one eye closed. Who knows?